Hello everyone, welcome back to another very interesting and educational PowerPoint video. In this video, I am going to show you guys the 5 hidden features that PowerPoint has to offer that you may not know about. So without a further ado, let's get started. Alright, so to start, I want to show you guys a trick that I know about the Painter tool that you guys might not already know about. So a couple of things. One, it's amazing and obviously, you can copy styles between images, text, and any type of objects, and can be used for a bunch of different use cases, but there's another feature that I think a lot of people miss out on when using the Painter tool. Alright, so let's say you want to insert a picture on this slide. So I'm going to go to Insert. And I'm going to go to Online Pictures. And I'm going to pick animals. And then I'll pick this eagle just to start. Alright, so now I have this picture. I'm just going to hold down Shift. And then click the top right corner to decrease the size. And then what I'm going to do is. I'm going to actually change it so that it's going to be a circle shape. So now I'm going to go to Format, Crop, and change it to be a circle. And then I'm just going to fix this cropping a little bit. So here's what I'm getting with this Painter tool. So let's say you have this image and you want to put another image. So I'm going to go back here to insert online pictures. And let's say I do a different animal. Like let's say we do this lion. All right, I'm going to insert this in here. So if you click on this shape, and then you go here to home. Click on format painter. And then you click on this shape. It's going to copy the cropping format that you actually did for that. All right. So the second feature about Painter Tool that I bet you guys haven't tried yet is using the Painter Tool to mimic transparency. So what I mean by that is, I have this image here. And let's say, I want to change the transparency of it to be 50%. Let's say you wanted to do both of these images at the same time. Though it's still grayed out. It's not going to allow me to change the transparency. So a quick workaround to this is let's say you made this a lighter transparency like that 50%. And then let's say you have a bunch of these line images right here. You want to go into each one of those pictures. And then go into format picture settings just to change transparency for all of them instead. Let's use the Painter tool and make this a lot quicker. So, I'm going to select this image. Double click the Format Painter tool. And then you can just click all these images. And now, they all have the same transparency value as that original image. And this can be used for different shapes, text, literally anything. It doesn't have to be just images. Alright, so the next hidden feature that I want to show you guys has to deal with morphing transition. So another thing I discovered with morphing is that you can actually morph cropped images. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean by that. So let's go here to insert again. Then, let's go to Online Pictures. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on ocean just for fun. And let's pick picture right here. So let's say I want this picture to move from left to right between two sides. So I'm going to show you how I actually do that. So let's say I have this picture covering the whole slide and let's say you only want half of this picture to show for the first example. So now I'm going to show this right here and then I'm going to stretch it out. All right, so now we have this picture. All right, so then to achieve this effect, I'm going to duplicate this image and I'm going to go here in this picture. Go to Format, Crop, Zoom out a little bit, Hold down Shift while you're doing this so it can move evenly. And I'm going to slide this all the way over to the right. So now, watch this. When I go into presentation mode. So, I'm going to first make sure that these are both on morph transition. So now, I'm going to go into presentation mode. I'm going to show you guys how this works. So basically, you see this image. I'm going to the next slide and it morphs and moves over. So. You can also achieve the same effect if you did like a push transition, but let's say you don't want the entire line to push over. Let's say you want this portion. I'm going to copy this image from this slide. I'm going to delete this image. Paste it here. Go back. And do the same thing. Go here to crop. Hold down shift. Scoot it over. And I'm going to go into presentation mode and watch this. It's almost like the picture is coming to life as you're switching it. You don't have to put any white boxes here or there or up here to get this effect. It just happens because it's morphing the cropped image. Alright, All right. so moving on to my third hidden feature that you guys might not know about. And it has to deal with the eyedropper tool. So if you're in your PowerPoint application, you're using eyedropper and you're just selecting different colors on your slide that you want to match with the different visuals. That's great, but let's say you see a color that you really like outside of your PowerPoint application. Now, here's a way to do that. Let's say I'm trying to just get a really cool color for the square object. So you can go to right click. Format shape. And right here, click down on the bucket eyedropper. Now in order to achieve this trick, it can be a little finicky. So watch closely on how I do it. So basically what you have to do is, you gotta make sure your web page is open that you want to. And you can even do this on a second monitor if you have that as well. But basically what you're going to do is, you're going to click. Hold it. 
Drag it outside until you get the color you want. Let's say you want this nice green color. Let go. And now you eye drop the color that you want. This also can work if you're trying to discover really cool gradients. So like let's say you're trying to make a gradient and you want to change the first color. Click and drag. And then to get the second color, all you have to do is the bucket again eyedropper. Click and drag. And then for the last color, you just hit eyedropper again. And then click and drag. And there you go. You now have your custom gradient that you got outside of PowerPoint without having to eyedrop something within your deck, which is a really cool feature. Alright, so for my next feature that I want to show you guys, this is actually how you can add gradients to your text. Now, go to Text Options. And this is just in the format shape. And to get there, all you have to do is right click, Format Shape. And have shape options. And then also text options. So I feel like most people don't play around with the text options as much, especially in this section. You can always play around with colors here. But these are just solid colors and then if you look for the more colors, you can pick them here. But they don't really give you the option to choose gradient colors and this is where you need to go. So once you're in text options, go to gradient fill. And then as you can see right there, it automatically added in my previous gradient that I was playing around with on the previous example. But you can also just play around this and really add anything you want the gradient to be. For the last but not the least feature that I want to show you guys is it is all about how to create a green screen using PowerPoint. Let's say you want to create a green screen. I put this in text here. Then you can go to Animate. Fly in. And I'm just going to put in Presentation Mode. And now it flies in. So what you want to do with the animation, if you go to Animation Pane. After you added in that animation, make sure it's with Previous. So now when I go into Presentation Mode, it automatically flies in. Once you have the text animated, it's with Previous, and you decide all the different things with it, then what you want to do is, you want to select all the slides that you're not wanting for this effect and make sure you hide them. Then what you want to do is, you want to click on the slide you want. Go to File, Export, and then create a video. Choose the type of quality you want. If you want 4K, that is an option. But in this case, we're just going to do 1080p. However long the animations go for is how long you need to make sure you export it for. So in this scenario, it was around like 2 seconds, so 5 seconds should be fine. Export. And then you create a video. So what this is gonna then do is it's gonna provide you with an mp4 file of this green screen video animation and what you can do with that video is put in your video editor. Choose the green screen option on your video editor. 
and then the only thing that's going to pop up is the creating green screen text and that's it so just imagine all the different possibilities you have by creating this and just using powerpoint so this is a really cool feature you don't have to use after effects it's not too complicated and you can really customize it to however you would like so that was my top 5 hidden features that PowerPoint has to offer. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Software Tutorials. Also, if you'd like to support our channel, you can do so by clicking onto that super thanks button. And that would really meant a lot to me. Thanks for watching. Peace.